Ryan McCaffrey with IGN. I'm joined by Mark from System 3 Software. Uh, we're taking a look at Constructor Plus. It's the Switch version uh, that's coming out in the not too distant future. Uh, Mark, we're going to take a look at, there's a, there's a regular campaign which we looked at in another video. Uh, this is the designer mode where uh, I presume we can just design our own scenarios. Uh, that's uh, that's absolutely correct. Now, what we're doing here, we're going to select what map we want to uh, work on, what the scenario is here, and what we're going to want to do is select uh, war. Uh, okay. Basically, I don't want to have any complaints. I just want to focus on fighting yep. the other side. Now, we've got a fixed start. We don't want. We can actually move your HQ. And I come to that number of states for each team. Let's put that up to. Uh, uh, Actually, nine. Put our budget right the way up. All right. More, more money. Number of work teams to start with three. Okay. Number of gangsters, four each. Okay, so now we're going to go in and start building uh, the uh, town. Sounds good. Of course, Constructor Plus here, if you're not familiar, it is a... Uh, well, not a not a city builder, but it is a strategy game. You're managing uh, the sort of goings on in the neighborhood. Now I can adjust the start positions, which I'm doing okay. here. These are a different team HQs. Okay. Well, we're ready to go now, so we're going to do it. Your town by placing any of the houses, fences, and gadgets you have already built in past games. To set up the other team's houses, click the colored icon in the bottom left to change team. Time will be frozen until you click the start button in the bottom left. Okay, so if we go into our build mode here, okay. you've now got all your buildings across here. We have a large variety of buildings that we've uh, built into the property area here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with uh, some of our level one tenants. Start off here. What I can do is place them. Now I'm making large uh, uh, front yards here so we can put in guard dogs we're going to come to that in a second excellent okay now um, let's just do some caravans here what you can also do is you can click inside uh, each of the homes if you wanted as well and we could then also specify to what level do we want each of the rooms actually upgraded So these are all going to be upgraded to the maximum. Okay. It's worth noting that uh, you mentioned the to me earlier in the other video, so that we're on the Switch version, which does support the touch screen. You're using the Joy-Con grip simply because uh, we have the Switch docked so that we can be looking at it uh, on a giant TV and recording this very footage. So uh, it is even quicker to navigate around with the Switch touch screen. Now, I'm laying down a number of the new buildings here just so that uh, some people that are familiar with Constructor can see some of the many uh, additions we've got. Now what I can also do is as I've selected nine uh, estates each, I don't need to buy an estate, I can instantly build on the area that I want to uh, actually uh, place my plots. If I wanted to place you know, my TP down there, okay. I instantly can do that. Now these are some of the level, uh, new level two buildings that we've got here. Now this one, I deliberately made a small area at the front from where the plot is for the house. Because what we're going to do is we'll show you the importance of uh, the gadget factory in a second. Okay. Now, if we just uh, go all the way down here. That is a lot and of what we want, what we want to be able to do is we wanted to be able to uh, have our mob HQ on a particular property. Um, and we're going to keep that with all of our resources so our tenants don't complain. Let's put our mob HQ over here. Sounds good. Okay. And next to our mob HQ, we can then have a number of uh, uh, utilities. So, for example, the gadget factory, as we spoke earlier about. Yeah. Which I just uh, uh, deleted. Yeah, they'll make uh, computers for you, among other things, to educate your tenants. That's correct, because you need that so you can then uh, use that to upgrade various things. Where, where's it gone? Too many blooming buildings now. 
Got a lot in here. What did you tell me uh, earlier? I think uh, 60 buildings, 60 new buildings compared to the other versions of the game here on Switch. Okay, let's just go There's here. That gadget factory. Let's just get our gadget boy going here. Okay, we'll instantly put that in. And then what we can also then look at doing, um, let me just build out some nice big properties here. Just to give people an idea of what you actually can. Uh, huge. Uh, we've just. You know, You're gonna blow it up. Gonna blow it up. Get rid of it. <laughs> so just showing you that if you're making a mistake, and you you actually select something twice, uh, you can instantly delete it. Now nice. what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually gonna select this building here. Mansion. Now, if we want to start setting up uh, some of our other uh, teams that we've got that we're playing against, we could then just change that and we could then do the same thing exactly for these guys here. Hmm. And we, could all, we could then quit the next one, uh, oh, go neat. all the way back to. Uh, uh, number one again, which is ourselves. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put um, some undesirables. So these are some of the casinos you got. So what we're going to do, we're going to select a thief. What's really important is because they've got a small area here. Yeah. All right. If we actually put our thief, let's just actually build our own estate here. Okay. Now we've got every item with a gadget factory. What we'll do is we'll put uh, the subway oh, there. Okay. And why not uh, let's have a look? So this seems like the kind of mode here, the designer mode, that you could you could pretty much disappear into for for many an hour, should you? Oh, absolutely, so absolutely. <laughs> and then uh, it looked like when you were first loading into this at the beginning of the video, uh, you can save all these and then play with them later. Correct. Uh, can you share them online by chance with you friends? You certainly can. Awesome. Impressive landmarks. Okay, it's just uh, just trying to give some idea of what you're able to do here. Now, this isn't by far finished to me. It would take a good uh, few hours to try and work out exactly uh, how you want to play and set the thing up. Now, right. this is what I mean by uh, what's important to to remember when you're building your properties is to make sure that you're going to um, put in a guard dog. Now, what we need to do is select our color. There could easily have been a rival guard dog that's put on our property, <laughs> which would have been really messy for us. So let's put a guard dog there. Okay. We're going to put a, a guard dog in all of our other properties. Right in front. You can't avoid that dog. Okay. <laughs> And that's what I meant when I set this up there. If you just put that one there, by the time the dog comes out to attack, part of your friends will already be damaged. So that's not going to work too well. Just trying to demonstrate the importance of planning what you want to do. Now, these fences, you can change any of these fences you want. So if we wanted to go inside this property here, uh, for example, let's just get out of here. Um, if we go inside, we can easily change what fence we want. Let's just say... I wanted a, a brick wall here Okay. instantly now. Oh, nice. We go back out, and you've got your brick wall. If I wasn't happy with a tenant, again, I could do the same thing. I could change my tenant to, to what I want. Um, so 
what we're going to do here if going to a nice little trick that I will show you guys you can buy a lot of uh, um, extra workers so we bought a load, bought, buy a load of extra workers now I'm going to go. convert a load of these to gangsters um, <laughs> And also, what I can also do is line them up with uh, uh, guns. Some serious firepower for your gangsters there. Okay, so if we now actually say, okay, let's play the game. We can now save the map, which we're going to do. Great. Uh, actually, I won't save the map. The game is now active. So now you'll be able to, there is no sound on here. As we said, it's just still working. No progress. worries, yeah. But you can now actually select here. This is really important. You've got your guys here. What we're going to do, I'm going to select the guy with a uh, gun as well. Skankster with a gun. We're going to go all the way up here. And uh, we're going to put our guys just there. Right, so now we can select our gangster. Let's see what happens. And you can then attack any of these guys here. Mix it up a little bit in the neighborhood. <laughs> what I forgot to do was actually build a hospital because, as you can see, your energy is dropping down here yeah. and you need to uh, uh, obviously re refresh your guys. I can send him quickly back to my HQ now. So he's gone. But that gives you a quick idea of how you can play around, play, get Very to cool. use the ideas. Now, if I just suddenly want to quit out of this and... Uh, quit the game I can quit the game as normal simple as that and there you go well that is the designer mode of constructor plus coming to Nintendo switch remind me when how soon end of October end of October for the switch version uh, the ps4 and Xbox one versions out now or very very soon depending when you're hearing this mark thank you so much and for more on constructor plus keep it tuned right here to IGN